Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We're going to do breakfast. And Bryce is going to show you how he usually makes breakfast in the mornings, which is uh, great. But I'm going to prepare the pancake. Well, he's going to prepare the pancake mix. And then I'm going to make the pancakes. And what we usually do, because we make gluten-free pancakes, we are going to uh, prepare enough and then we freeze it. And then all he has to do is actually put it in the toaster to heat them up. So we're going to do that. But Bryce, you want to, you may want to show them how you um, start the oven. Let's get this stuff out the way. Because we had crab legs last night. Let's we'll show you how to breakfast. So what do you put the oven on? Put it in. Go show that part. Uh, let's see. Big. 380. Okay. Well, first we need to wash our hands, remember? Oh, very important. So we wash our hands. And this is the mix that we use right here from Aldi's. If you are gluten free or anything like that, Aldi's is a very good source of all a lot of gluten free baked stuff and baked things. So we do use this. So right now he's preheating the oven because we put our sausage and the hash browns in the oven. Um, and that way it makes it it's an easier um, fix, easier cooking. Okay. One cup baking, one cup so we have our measuring cup right here. So what do you need out so I can get out what I say you need? Grill to we don't have to worry about that. What's the ingredients that you need for your mix? Uh, the ingredients to make your Right here. Okay. One cup live grease. Baking mix. One cup milk. Okay. Two. And we also use almond milk, so we don't do regular Two milk. Tablespoons of vegetable. Vegetable oil, mm -hmm. one large egg. Okay. So we don't know how many cups is this. This is a 16 ounce. We need the iPad too, because we need to configure measurements. We're going to use our other mix. This is going to be for our liquids. We're going to put the, you need to pour a cup of mix in here. Here you go. Scissors. Pour a cup. Where's the cup at? Look on it first so you can know where the cup is. Where's the line for the cup that you're going to pour it up to? No, 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 babe. On that. Right there. That's one cup. All right, we need to pour a cup of that in there. And I'm going to pour 
be very careful. And I'm going to pour a cup of milk in here. So we'll have dry and uh, wet in two different things. Keep pouring because this is not a cup, so you gotta pour up to the line to make it a cup. We need to move this so you can get a good picture of you. Uh oh, I covered it up. My bad. Like that. Oh. oh. Uh, no, no, that's that's okay. Pour that in there. Shells. Try not to get no shells in there. Okay, put the egg stuff in here until we get done. Oh. Okay. All right. Brush your hands off. Then we're going to do the process again. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, I'll, I'll get that. Thank you. One. Another we need to do the process again because we're gonna double our ingredients, right? So put another cup of uh mix in there because we're gonna be making everything. Mm. We're gonna make it all because remember we're gonna store it, we're gonna freeze it. Okay, now we're going to use the rest of the mix. Because we just need to know how to. So this is, this is a half a cup. So we're just going to do half a cup of milk as well. Did I put the two tablespoons in here? I don't think so. You did. Already for the second time? Oh, no. Sorry. Yeah, because we got to do the same thing we did the first time because we're doubling our stuff. One. Two. And then because we're doing a half a cup, 
we're gonna do we're gonna do one more. And actually, you can stir with this, and then I'm gonna do a half a cup of milk. Hopefully, it's a half a cup in here. Nope. Which is not, but that's okay. He's mixing up the mix for me to start doing the pancakes. Keep stirring really good, Ricey. Do you think you need to blend her out? Maybe? Yeah. Okay. So, get the blender out. Okay, get the... the and get the tea. Little mixer spoons out. I call it the tea. So, before you do that, you got to put your, remember, you got to put your meat in the, um, so now he's going to get the stuff out because the oven has preheated, we heard the bell, so now he's going to get the meat out in the hash browns, and he's going to show you how he does it and put it on the pan, and this is like less, you don't have to fry it or anything like that. I think it makes it a lot easier. So he's getting, what are you getting out? The foil out to put the the meat and the hash browns on. Yep, so fold it. So what he's doing, so we use foil and it's just, you know, to me I like it a little better. Start from here. Start here. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Now you can put your hash browns on this one. So what he's doing is he's making a little pan to put the turkey sausage on. So this is how he does it. And this way nobody has to stand over the stove and um, take out time. Because you could be doing something else while your food is cooking. Like making pancakes, washing the dishes that you dirty up, things like that. Now I'm going to put the sausages on here. Okay, put two in there for your dad. Well, wait, you, you can wait and put your food in first. Just take care of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Uh -huh. yep, and he's going to put the stuff back. He's going to put the hash browns back because he has to go down and fill our bag because we usually buy the cases of turkey sausage. That's turkey sausage. Wait, Bryce, can you come here for a second? One quick. And can you put your food in the oven? Let's put, let's put the food in the oven. And then he's going to go downstairs and get more turkey sausage to fill up. Yep. Alrighty. So we'll just wait. Can I pause it? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. He's back. He's going to... Uh-oh. Mix. Let's do it in the sink. Okay, you want to do it in the sink? Okay, hold on. Okay, put it in there. Put it in the sink, babe. So we don't make a mess. That's a good idea, Bryce. Here.
Okay, let me move out the way. So go ahead, I'm gonna record it. Mix in the mix. And we did it in the sink, it didn't even need to, so it didn't even splatter. Cut it all around, mix it in here. Mix it very good, in a very good cloud. Shake it a little bit. And then guess what you could do? Because these are the dishes that's going to be washed. Release them. Right in there. Okay. Now, you're going to have to be my camera person because now I'm going to um, and actually I'm going to use olive oil We're going to turn the oven on, let the griddle get a little hot. We actually have a griddle right here that we can um, do pancakes on. I don't know. I don't know. Should we try the griddle? Because we've never tried it before. And we have something in our stove, like for the middle. Right, but we, I have this out now, so we're just going to keep continuing with that. Okay? Okay. So as this warms up. What I'm going to do is take the mix, and I'm going to pour my first pancake. That's one. And I'm going to do two. Because we usually make waffles, but we're going to do pancakes this time. I've been in a pancake mood lately, so. Then we're going to do three. done with these three flapjacks and we're just going to repeat the process so I put a little butter in the pot and I'm going to take them out here and put them on the plate and we're going to repeat the process three more we're gonna put in there so now we're gonna flip the 
pancakes because they're about ready to be flipped. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh. That's one. Two. Oh. Golden brown. That's right. They are very, they're golden brown. Real plain. So right now the pancakes are, we're going to let them, when they start bubbling, that's when we're going to turn them over, okay? And in the meantime, we're going to check in on our sausage and things. They're still good and good. I think we need to move the oven up to four. All right, guys, so we are about done cooking breakfast. Right, right. So we're gonna put the hash browns on the plate. See, it's easy cleanup too. Pancakes. How many pancakes you think you guys want? Two? Three. Three? Oh, goodness. You guys can sure enough eat. I'm trying to have a full breakfast. Oh, okay. Three pancakes. I'm going to put the sausage on your plate. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, I know. Hot. See, it's easy cleanup too, guys. And then we have to get you guys some fruit. Because you definitely need fruit. So we're going to get a... We usually take the hash browns out first because they usually get ready first. So we're just going to take those out. Uh oh excuse me. And sit them on the side so the sausage can keep cooking. And then it's time for me to flip some more flapjacks. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Alrighty. Still waiting. It is good for you. Now. I'm going to rinse these off. Just move on. I'm going to peel. These are pears. Pears are really good for you. Bryce said they taste like apples. Which they pretty much could. I like to peel the skin off. Yeah, I thought they were apples when I got to the table. Yeah. But they're really good. Let's put them on the plate. This is how they're, this is their big breakfast that they usually have. The white boys. Still going to um, peel this other one. And bam, look at that. That looks look at that big breakfast. So good. In the meantime, I need to flip these pancakes over because we're still making pancakes. 
Looks like we're going to need more if they're going to be eating three pancakes a piece. That's a lot. Tomorrow is going to be two. Oh, okay. Tomorrow is going to be two? Yeah. And that is how you make a breakfast. That's how you make a breakfast. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and uh, do not forget to hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.